Presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to reformat your slides for a lower third on a secondary screen. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach all about Pro Presenter, of course. My name's Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you've ever been in a situation where you need to um, have full screen lyrics or graphics or what have you on one screen and then a lower third on the second one at the same time, go ahead, subscribe, like, click the little bell icon, leave me a comment, all that fun jazz. So this is something that's becoming more and more common. Um, back before the pandemic, a lot of churches were saying, oh yeah, we're never going to live stream, never going to live stream. And then I like to say, I don't know if it's 100% accurate, but I like to say that God just laughed and thought, yeah, just wait. Um, so anyway, a lot of you are doing it and you might be running into an issue uh, with how to reformat the graphics from full screen to a lower third for a secondary screen. So I thought that I would go over that very explicitly. I've uh, gone over kind of the generic form of how to do that before, but let's head over to the computer and we'll take a look at how to do just that. So here we are in Pro Presenter, of course, and uh, let me just find a uh, full screen lyric right here. Okay, so let me first, I'm going to add a background to it here. So I was doing something else with these lyrics, so I've got some funkiness on the first couple of slides, but you can see what it looks like. So that's the full screen version. And you might be thinking, okay, how can I take that full screen version and make it into a lower third? Well, First off, we need a different screen to send it to, because if you've only got one output, and you know, um, not too long ago I redid the how to add multiple screens tutorial, so take a look at that. So you will need to add another one. So real quick, I'm going to go into screens and then uh, configure screens. And that takes us here, and then what we need is we need a screen that will uh, do the job of the secondary screen. I've actually already got one. This is my alpha screen. This is when I put up my lower third earlier. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're one of my Church Tech U members, I put up lower third uh, before I got started uh, with this. And... So um, I did this. So let's use this alpha output screen. It doesn't necessarily have to be a deck link output with alpha. It could be that you're just keeping it within ProPresenter and this is just a placeholder screen. Or it could be that it's an NDI screen that you're sending to another computer. Um, or maybe a video switcher that can take NDI, any of those things. That doesn't matter as much. Refer back to that other tutorial that I talked about. But that's the screen that we're going to use. So we have the audience screen right here, which is the one we're looking at right here. And then we have alpha right here. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to design the way that it looks. So I'm going to go into more here at the top. This three ellipses right after Bible, uh, if you've got House of Worship integrations on. If not, it's right after Reflow, but more, and then go down to Theme Editor. And now let's um, click this down arrow, and I'm going to go New Theme, just to create a new theme. And let's call this uh, Lower Third Lyrics. Okay, so I'm going to, now in doing that, I have a text box here. Let's smish, smoosh this down, make sure there's enough space here. And just for giggles, uh, just because I can, I'm going to go here to fill, 
and not color. Let's instead change this to media. So I could absolutely just do a color or leave it clear and maybe add a stroke around the letters. I've got a lot of options here. I'm just going to do it this way just for fun. So let me see if I can find that same graphic. I think this is it. Yeah, I think that's it. Might be, the colors might be a little bit off, but okay. And now let's scale this to fill so that it fills the entire thing. Okay. Do you like these videos, but you'd really like to learn from me in person? Well, I've got some great news for you. I am traveling around the country and maybe even around the world training churches on how to use ProPresenter. So I've got a uh, either a one or a one and a half day class that you can attend. For more details, head on over to tdm.fyi slash events24, the top one right here, and uh, register for the event nearest you. If there is no event that's near you, no problem, you can request one. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash uh, class request, that's this one down here, and um, you can say, hey, I'm interested in attending a class, or even I'm interested in hosting a class. Up to you which you prefer. In the last one, that is just information. It's not obligation, so don't hesitate to put your information in there, and uh, I'll let you know when there's a class in your area, or we'll talk about what it takes to host a class. It's probably a lot less than you uh, imagine that it is. So head over there, and uh, I look forward to meeting you in person. Now we're going to go back to show mode. And now up here, upper right-hand corner, this is the Edit Looks dialog. Notice this looks kind of like a disguise. So we're going to put a disguise on the secondary um, screen, the alpha screen, so that it looks the way that we want it to look. So I'm going to click on that icon and then go to Edit Looks. Having gone to that, let's create a new preset here. So next to the word Presets, there's the little plus button. I'm going to click on that, and I'm also going to click on it again so that I can rename this. And let's call this uh, Lyrics Lower Third. Yeah. Okay. So when I did that, we're going to ignore all of these except for the audience and the alpha. So, um, well, the vertical one, I'm also going to um, disable some of the stuff above it and some of the stuff below it because that's this guy. You can ignore me doing that because you won't necessarily have a vertical screen that you're doing a ProPresenter uh, tutorial with. But so we've got that. That's good to go. Uh, now for the audience, I'm going to disable the announcements and same for the alpha because it has this stuff on it. So that's good to go. Okay. So presentation right here, we've got the Ghostbusters symbol here. Um, technically, I think it's the null set in math, but I'm a Gen Xer, so I like to think of it as the Ghostbusters symbol. So that means don't do anything special to the formatting of this screen. So it will show exactly what is in here. What I'm going to do is I am going to do something special to the alpha one, and I'm going to go to click on it and then go to our lower third lyrics theme and click on that to select that and notice this looks either like a old fashioned old fashioned carpenter's ruler or what i actually think it is is like paint swatches so that will show me that now i do want to show my slides just as i have here but i don't want to show my media and um 
in this case, I'm not going to show the video output because this is going to go to a um, another screen. So let's click Make Live. And having done that, if I go down to the preview down here to Alpha, notice it looks like basically the exact same thing as the audience screen. The audience screen just being bigger and centered uh, top to bottom. And then the Alpha one is smaller, has the same background. Notice how it's moving, and uh, as I switch between slides here, those are identical slides, but this one here, now you can see how it's changing. So, and then if we go back to audience, we'll notice that the it's still the same, you know, centered top to bottom. So that is how you can do that. Um, in this case, I'm sending that output out to my video switcher, so I can actually show you what that looks like. Let me first go to full screen of me, so I'm going to do that, and now I'm going to show you what it looks like here. So now, right here, we have, trying to do this, I am not trained as a meteorologist, so I can't uh, very easily do this but anyway so there you go because the meteorologist is always gesturing to stuff on a chroma key wall that's why okay so that's how that looks as opposed to um, the full screen version so that's how I did that did it with the video switcher in this case my ATEM television studio HD um, but there's no reason why you couldn't live stream directly from ProPresenter and just send that with uh, a placeholder screen and have video coming into ProPresenter or send just that out via NDI with Alpha. You've got a lot of options, but that's how you do that. And if you like this content, you would probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, so head on over to TDM dot FYI set slash pro the number seven and quick give me your name and email address and I'll make a login for you for free until next time this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity <laughs>